In this quick tip tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Twitch VOD track with Streamlabs OBS. Hey there, I'm Greeny, this is Greenbox, and should this video help you at any point in time, make sure to let me know by writing a comment or liking this video. All right, the Twitch VOD track feature is a feature that allows you to remove music from your VODs on Twitch. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, make sure to check out my other videos on this topic, because in this video, we're only going to look into how to do it with Streamlabs OBS, which is something many of you ask for and isn't as simple as just just doing it with OBS Studio. All right, first of all, we have to install Soundtrack by Twitch, even though we are not going to use it. This is a music player which plays music that can be played on Twitch. What we need is we need the Streamlabs OBS plugin, which comes with it. So let's install it, log in to our Twitch account, and then in the setup, choose Streamlabs OBS. Once the plugin is installed, we can close Soundtrack by Twitch and never open it again. So let's jump into Streamlabs OBS then, and I'm going to show you how to set it up so it works. Here's a brand new instance of Streamlabs OBS I just set up for this video. The setup is very simple. We have my desktop audio, we have my webcam, and we have my mic audio. And what we now want to do is we want to add a new source through which we're going to play music, which will not be included in our Twitch VODs. If you have no idea how to separate your desktop audio from your music, make sure to check out this video I did about this exact topic. And regarding if you're using voice meter or using the Elgato Wave link, there are two different videos linked in the video description below. So let's go back to Streamlabs. Here is the critical part of this tutorial, which many get wrong. Even though we're not going to use the soundtrack by Twitch application, we have to add the soundtrack source. And to do that, we go to sources, click on the plus and then add Twitch soundtrack. We're naming it Twitch soundtrack, adding the source and we now have the Twitch soundtrack source. We are not going to use that, but we need it, otherwise the feature is not working. The thing I like to do with audio sources I'm not needing is I go to the settings and say hide, because we are not going to use that, but we need it in the scene, otherwise the feature is not going to work. Next up, we need to add our music track to Streamlabs OBS. To do this, we again go to sources, the plus sign, and on here, audio output capture, add source, create the new one, call it music and add the source. So in here, you now have to choose the audio track on which your music is. Again, if you don't know how to do this, check the video description or info card. In my case, I am using voice meter. So for me, my configuration says VB audio voice meter via free is how I set up my Spotify to play through that channel. So I add that. And if we go to Spotify and I play music, we see that music is getting into this channel. If you have managed to follow this tutorial so far, well done, we're only one last step away from making this happen. But this step is crucial and if you skip it, the entire thing will not work. And to do that, we need to go into the advanced audio settings. To do that, we go to the mixer and then click on this icon, which brings up the advanced audio settings. Don't be confused by all the entries in here. The only thing we have to worry for is the music setting. So the way this Twitch VOD feature is working, it sends two audio tracks to Twitch. One track containing everything which is going live, that means me speaking as well as music, and the second track, which is just me speaking without the music. And we now have to tell Streamlabs OBS which source is going to what track. In the music entry, we have to disable all the tracks except track number one because track number one is the track which is going live so when you're live you want to have your music and you talking but track number six is the track which will go to your vod's so track number six on our music entry needs to be unchecked in order to not appear in our VODs. So when I first tested this feature, I noticed that there was one little problem. Sometimes I just not had any audio on Twitch 
And that was fixed by going into the advanced settings, unticking one track and ticking it again, and that fixed it. So if you have the problem that you don't have any audio, just open the advanced settings tab, untick one track and tick it again, and that should fix it. Yeah, that, that must be a bug with the software, I, I guess. All right, so I really hope this quick tutorial helped you. In case it did, as I said, make sure to let me know by writing a comment or liking this video. And if you do not want to miss any upcoming live streams or more videos on how to get started with live streaming, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And since you're now on the end card for almost 10 seconds, I really hope you already clicked one of those videos. In case you didn't, why? Why are you still here? Click. All right, I'm Greeny, this is Greenbox. Thanks for watching. I see you in the next video. Bye!